boat oars. And we got to the point where you could shatter a two-by-four. Somebody would swing the two-by-four at you, and you put your arm up, and it would break the two-by-four. And it wouldn't even leave a bruise on your body. Now, I'm telling you, after 25 years of doing this, that's impossible physically. Spiritually, it's, you know, I say spiritually, I mean through the occult, it's very possible. But that's not physically possible unless you have either divine intervention, Yahweh, God is on your side, or unless you have Lucifer on your side. So he began to teach me how to use this power. This is a picture of um, what they call the chakras, the energy centers in the body. I asked him, after a few years of training under him, I finally got the guts up to ask him about why he had all these pictures of the Hindu gods and the Hindu warriors instead of the Chinese. And he told me, he said, Eric, he said, where did the Chinese get Kung Fu from? I said, the Shaolin Temple. He said, but where did the Shaolin Temple get it from? I said, a man named Da Mo or Bodhidharma. Well, Bodhidharma was Indian. He was Hindu. And he was the one that brought this idea of energy to China. Now, when he did that, he talked about these seven energy centers in the body. One was on the crown. One was here. That's really important to remember for what we're going to talk about tomorrow. This is called the third eye. Um, how many of y'all have ever seen a, like a picture or a, a drawing of a cyclops? Y'all remember that? They had one eye. It was right in the middle. The Bible says this is where the seal of the Almighty goes. In here, to the Chinese and to the Hindu, to the Indian people, this is the most powerful place in the human body. This is where all that energy, that chi or that spiritual energy comes from, is here. And he told me, he said, the Indian people, the Hindus, they believe that we have something down here in our belly, approximately two or three inches below the navel, that gives us power. And that power, that energy, is called the kundalini, or the serpent force. And the whole goal in martial arts is to make that serpent, instead of living down here below your navel, travel up your spine and live here between your eyes. Now, when he told me that, I knew something was not right about that. Because... We are told from Mrs. White that everything down here is called base passions. Hunger, food, um, self-defense, anger, rage, all of that comes from down here. Why would I want the serpent, who the Bible says Jesus Christ is going to crush his head, why would I want to let him come up here and live in my mind? But that's what the goal was. So they taught about these different energy centers on the body and how to move energy or chi from down here up through the body. Now, one thing that I would like to really warn you guys about, yoga. Um, when I was first introduced to yoga, you think, well, it's good for stretching, it's good for health, it's good for breathing. Look up what the word yoga means. The word yoga in Indian language or in Hinduism means yoking. It means to yoke, to join the man or the practitioner, the woman, with Brahma, which is the Hindu god. So when you say yoga, you are talking about the joining of a god, a false god, with the human practitioner. And that's where they get the same energy from. They say by joining him, by receiving this god or this demon spirit, you are given power. 